Hi everyone, it's Jeff from Avada here. Welcome back. This is part 5 of the Building a Website with Avada video course. This course is aimed at both beginners and more intermediate users. And in it I show you how to use the Avada website builder to create a complete website from scratch. If you haven't watched parts 1 through 4, please follow the links below and watch the series from the start. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. In the last video in this series, we built the service pages and the reviews page. In this video, we will set up the shop by creating some products, a shop postcard, the shop page, and the single product layout. Okay, let's begin. To start off, let's have a look at the shop system already created by the setup wizard. The wizard created the required shop pages and added custom layouts to them using a range of our Woo design and layout elements. If we look at the shop page for example, there's a postcard element set up as a slider at the top, then a deal section, and then a product grid. This content is all directly on the shop page. If we go into one of the products however, we are now using an Avada layout, a template for the product pages. Here we can see the product details, a description and a review section, and a related product section at the bottom. And if we look at a product archive, by clicking on a category for example, then we come to a page using a product archive layout. I'll just go back here. So now if we add this product to the cart, we get a notice at the top, and if we view the cart, we are back to a standard page populated with Woo elements. If we proceed to the checkout, we are on a page that has Woo elements added to it directly. So the only parts of the shop system that's using layouts are the individual products and the product archives, and the other parts are custom built pages using the Woo elements. For an e-commerce store that's a pretty good way to set things up, and gives a lot of design flexibility. For more information on Avada and WooCommerce check out the links below. At this point it will be useful to have a look at the role layouts and postcards play in a Nevada website. These are both very powerful tools and if you're not using them yet, you're missing out. So let's just go to Avada Layouts. And here we can see the layouts that were created by the setup wizard. There are seven of them. There's the global layout, which has the global header and footer, one for single blog posts, and another for blog archives, the single product one that was used on the product we just looked at, and again, another one for the product archives. And finally, there are search page and 404 layouts. As I mentioned, all of these were created by the setup wizard. I haven't made anything here. And from Avada 7.11, if you add WooCommerce, there'll be one more, a WooCommerce thank you page. I've just updated to 7.11, but I ran the wizard on the previous version, which is why it's not here. I could also just make one. See the video below for more information on using a thank you page in WooCommerce. If you don't fully understand Avada layouts, we have extensive documentation and videos explaining how it works. So again, follow the links below, and we will return to these layouts later. But now, let's have a look at the library. Here you can see the few things I have saved into the library, and there are also nine postcards that were created by the setup wizard. There are three product postcards, a single category postcard, and five blog postcards. Let's quickly go back to the shop page and edit it in Avada Live, so we can see how these postcards have been used. If I edit this top postcard element, then we can see it's using the starter product postcard 2243. If I go to the next section, it's using a different product postcard, 2333. And the bottom section is using the third product postcard. So postcards are basically a template to determine how to display custom post types such as products, blogs, portfolios, etc. They then pull the data dynamically and display the posts according to your design. Here on the shop page they are all displaying products, but in different ways. This is a good shop layout, and would be great for a full e-commerce store, but my website is only going to have a few products, and as such, this is a bit overkill for me. I think I want a simpler postcard as well, so I'm going to clear this layout and rebuild the shop page, and as part of that I will create a new postcard to use. Before I do that however, I'm going to create my products. This is done at Products, from the WordPress sidebar. Here we can see all the products the wizard created, but we don't need these anymore, so let's select them all and send them to the trash. And I'll also go to Categories and delete all these categories. I just need one category, so I'll make a new one called Supplies, add the slug, and save it. 
OK, so now I can add a new product. I'll call this Measuring Tape, and I'll paste some lorem ipsum in the long description area here. I'll set a price of $6, and a sale price of 4 and I'll also add a short description underneath here. Long and short descriptions show in different places, so I'll add a shorter one here so we can see that. On the right hand side, I'll add a product image from the media library, and select the supplies category. OK, that's a very basic product, but it will do for our example. I'll just publish that, and go and create a few more. OK, so now I have created four products, but before we add them to the shop page, we need to create a new postcard to display them with. This is done in the library. While I'm here, I'll delete these three existing product postcards, as I'm not going to use them. To make a new one, I'll select Postcard as the Library Element Type, and I'll just call this Products. Once it loads, I will just go and set the preview options. Because this is a template, we need to let it know what sort of content to use for the preview. So I'll go to the Page Options tab, and into Preview, and tell it to view dynamic content as a product. And I'll just use Measuring Tape as the product to preview. I'll also set the preview width to 40%, as I think I'll be displaying my products in two columns. And that will give me a pretty accurate preview of how they'll look. OK, so now I'll just click Preview. There's still nothing to see, as we haven't added anything to the postcard yet, so let's start with the postcard image element. We now get a preview of a product image. Like all elements, there are lots of options here, so check out the specific element documentation to read more. But for my example, I'm just going to set the Show Sale badge to Yes for products that are on sale. Under this, I'll add a title element. For the content, I'll click on the dynamic content icon and choose Title. And I'll turn the title link on, and set the link URL to be the permalink. On the Design tab, I'll center this title and make it a H2, and set the font size to 26 pixels. I'll also increase the top margin to 20 pixels. And finally, under this, I'll add the Woo Price element. Everything looks good here, so on the Design tab, I'll set the alignment to center, and the font size to 22 pixels. Yeah, I think that will do. So let's save this postcard, and come back to our shop page. I'll just refresh this page to pick up the new postcard I made, and now I will clear the layout. I'm going to start with a new container, and here I'll go to the Library tab and add the page title bar container I saved earlier. I'll just change the title to Our Shop, and I'm going to use a different image as well. I'll just remove this one, and add my own from the Media Library. OK, Shop Title Bar all done. Now for the products. This is where I add my postcard. To start off though, I will just add a new 1-1 container and column here, and I might just go and call it Shop Products, and give this container some top and bottom padding. Let's say 100 pixels top and bottom. So now I will add the postcards element. As you can see, it loads and asks which postcard design to use. We want to use the one called Products. It's not showing our products yet, as the Post Type option default is Posts. I'll just change that to Products. And now our products display. There are a lot of options here, but I think the defaults will work for me. Actually, I might just scroll down and change the order to ascending. OK, let's just change the layout a bit as well. I'll go to the Design tab and set the number of columns to 2. I only have 4 products here, so we might as well display them a bit larger. And that's my products done. But I will just add one more container to the bottom of this page. It's going to be a modified version of the Hero container on the home page. So I will go back there, and copy it and come back and paste it in here below the Products container. I want to change the background image, so I'll edit the container and head to the Background tab. On the Images tab, I will remove this one and add my new one in. I'll use this one here. I might just set the background position back to Center Center for this one. And now I'll go to the Color tab, set the background color to color 8, and set the opacity to around minus 50. So now I'll edit my title, and change that to a H2, and set the font color to be color 1. I'll also edit the text element and set that to color 1 as well. OK, the button looks good here, but I actually want the colors to be flipped. So I will edit that, and on the Design tab, I will change it to Custom, and set the colors to color 1. And on the Hover State, I will set them to color 5. 
and I'll set the button text to color 8 and on the hover state it will be color 1. And I also want to remove the column with the section separator so I'll delete that and now I'll just have to adjust the bottom padding on the container. I'll set that to 75 pixels. Like the hero container I might add a form into this column when I get to the contact stuff but for now I think our shop page is done. So let's save this. Now we can move to the single product layout section. This controls the layout of single products. We saw the layouts page before but now let's go to the layout section builder. This is found from the Avada dashboard under layouts, layout section builder. This page displays all the layout sections, the individual parts that are added to various layouts. Here you can see the header and footer layout sections, as well as a couple of page title bar sections that are used for the blog and a bunch of content layout sections. Right now we are looking for the content layout section for products, and here it is called product single content. Let's edit that. It loads with the content the wizard created, and while it's a totally fine layout, I saw one in Avada Studio that while not much different at all was closer to what I want here design-wise. So I will clear this layout and head to Avada Studio. On the left here, I'll just filter to single product, and this one called Product Content 858 is the one I want. I'll just preview it. My import options need to be local colors and typography, use placeholder, and normal colors. Let's import that. Okay, I'll start by going to the layout section options, and under layout section, I will just select measuring tape again and click preview. Okay, now to tweak this layout. I really like the colors of the notices element at the top compared to the other layout, but I can see this layout was set up for full width. So I'll edit the container and set this back to site width for a start. And while I have the container open here, I will change the alignment of the columns to be center and set the justification to be flex start. Now let's just adjust the column sizes below here. The first one is 35%, but I will change this to be one half. And I will do the same for the second column. Otherwise this looks great. I'll also just change the size of the next column to be 1-1. One, one. The top element here is the Woo Tabs element, but I won't bother editing that one here. Below this is a related products area. I don't really like the way this container blends in with the footer, so I think I will put this in its own container so I can have a different background color. So I'll just add a 1-1 one, one container and edit that and set some top and bottom padding. And then I'll drag both the title and the postcards element into that container. I will edit the title and increase the bottom margin a bit, maybe to 35 pixels. And now if I edit the postcards element, I'll just change the postcard used to the product postcard I created before. Okay, I think our single product layout is good. As you can see, it's not very different to the one the wizard created, but design is a finicky and fussy business. In any case, we can now save this. There's also the shop archives to consider. Let's go to the layouts page for a sec. Here we can see there is a layout for product archives. We can see it has both a page title bar and a content section. And I can see the page title bar layout section is shared by the blog archives layout. So I will edit this one for the shop archives and make a new one for the blog archives. Okay, let's edit both of these in new tabs. You can do this by holding down control on Windows or command on your keyboard on Mac as you click edit. I'll start with the page title bar. For this, I want a page title bar just like on the other pages. Here it's in a layout section, but I can still use the one I have already built. So I'll delete this container and add a new one and go to the library tab and add in my saved page title bar. So now I just have to change the title here to dynamic content and choose title. And I will change the background image out. And here I will add the same one as on the shop page. Okay, that's all good. Let's save that and move to the content layout section. This is using a couple of columns with a woo sorting element and a postcard in the first column and some woo filters on the right hand side. Again, this is a pretty good layout for a full shop, but for this simple example, I will just make it look like the shop page. So I'll just delete that second column and make the remaining column to be 1-1. One, one. And I'll delete the woo sorting element and change the postcard used here to be the products postcard. There's only three products showing, so there must be a post offset here. So let's scroll down and set that back to zero. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I'll save this layout. And now we can review. I'll go to the shop page. That all looks as it should, using our new products. 
I'll just go into a product. And here we can see it's using our product layout. If I just add it to the cart, our success notice comes up, and I will head to the cart. The cart page looks good. As I mentioned before, this page was brought in by the wizard, and here I see no reason to edit it. But of course you can if you'd like to customise it. So now I'll proceed to the checkout. Yes, it all looks pretty good. Obviously with a real WooCommerce store you'd need to set up payment and other options, but for this example I think this is fine. We have lots of WooCommerce resources, so check out the other links below as well for more information on setting up e-commerce stores with Avada. One more thing before I wrap up this video. I now want to add a product section to the home page. I'll just head to the home page in the Live Builder. I'll scroll down to the last container and add a new full width column container combo under this. To start off, I'll edit the container, and let's call this shop. And I'll also set some padding. About 100 pixels top and bottom should be good. I'll also go to the background tab and set a background color. I think I want a very pale yellow here, so I will set color 4. And in the global color options, I'll add minus 90 in the alpha channel. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's add the content. I have saved a column with the title and separator in the library, so I'll add a column and go to the library tab and select my title and separator column. I'll just move that to the top. And I'd better change the title here to our products. In the next column I'm going to add a postcard element. I'll select products as my postcard and I'll change the post type to products. Yeah, I think that will do nicely. Let's save that home page again. OK, now we have set up the shop, we can move on to the blog. But that's in the next video. I hope to see you there. OK, this concludes part 5 of our video course on building a website with Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.